Good evening. You're welcome to uh, today's lecture. Today we'll take a look at pharmaceutical chemistry. Sorry, I mean pharmaceutical calculation, not pharmaceutical chemistry. Pharmaceutical calculation, sorry. Yesterday, we solved some questions and the topic um, reduction and enlargement of formula. That should be topic seven. So today, we go over to topic eight. Sorry, yesterday we took uh, um, density, right? Specific gravity and the specific volume, sorry, that's, that, that's a topic. So today, we'll take a look at the ninth topic, which is, um, we saw some questions for the ninth topic, which is uh, concentration. So today, we will take a look at concentration. So remember, this is, this is a review, and uh, it's going to be question-oriented. So our uh, pick questions, we have roughly, we have less than 30 minutes, so let's see what, what we can achieve with that. So we, 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 we pick questions under this concentration and see how far we can go. So let me look for questions. Okay. I've seen one, so let's put down this question and do it fast. Okay, the question says, what is the amount of sodium chloride powder needed to prepare 1,000 ml of a 0.9% weight in volume sodium chloride solution? Now, you know, when we, when we treated concentration in the class, remember we said that concentration has to do with amount, amount of a substance in a entire a drug or something in the entire product you know we have the drug and drug, drug product product are not the same thing so the drug is the aggregated inside then the the entire product is also there so if you now want to if you now want to calculate the amount if you now want to compare the the amount of the of the drug inside and the ratio of the amount inside to the entire what product you are going towards concentration. So you just see simply the amount of the of the drug inside over the entire amount of the what the amount of the entire what products. Am I completing? We discussed this in, in, in our what in our class. Uh, I said that the amount and the concentration are not the same thing. Amount is, is just the amount. Amount is an amount. Am I, am I complicated? Am I can, it can be in milligram, it can be in mole, depending on the unit you want to use. But the, if you now want to check concentration, 
you now is, is that a ratio of the amount of the drug inside it the product over the, to the entire world the amount of the entire world products and we said that we have three types of concentration we have the one we call we, we call them um, we have the one known as amount concentration itself we have percentage concentration and we have ratio concentration so the, the, this question has to do with what percentage concentration so as you can see here now this is 0 0.9 percent right 0.9 percent to weight in volume of sodium chloride solution what this means remember what what, what, what that tell you what, what that is tell you about if we have one percent weight in volume what does it mean remember i say that if you have one percent what it means is that that the drug itself is one gram one gram of the drug in what because of weight in volume in what hundred mil of the entire what product once you see what in volume, it's telling you that the product, the product is a liquid product. Look at this volume here. This weight is for the drug itself. So 1% weight in volume means that the amount of the drug inside that product is what? 1 gram. And what? 100 ml. The what it means is that if you take every 100 ml of the drug product you take, the amount of the drug inside you will work 1 gram. That's the meaning every hundred mil of the product of the drug product you take the amount of the drug inside it will work one gram just as let's remember here is talking about sodium chloride which is normal common salt table salt table salt you, 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 you use at home right sodium chloride solution now this this is sodium chloride the salt itself but once you hear sodium chloride solution what it means that it has been added inside water and form a product true or false what the drug is said is the powder itself is what sodium chloride powder but when you add it in water it will dissolve and form a what solution all together now in that case now sodium chloride is taken as a drug itself while the sodium chloride solution is the what the product so if you have one gram in one percent weight in volume what means that we have one gram in every hundred ml of the solution so let us give the actual value given to us here as, and they explain it better. Let me clean. I use this for what illustration. The actual concentration given to us here is what 0.9 percent. Here is 0. Point what 9 percent what weight in volume. What these things means is that is that is that the amount of sodium chloride inside amount of sodium chloride is 0. 0.9 what gram in every what. 100 mil of this what solution so this is 0 0.9 percent weight in volume sodium chloride solution means that if you take any 100 mil provided that you mix properly any 100 mil of this solution you will take will contain what 0 0.9 gram of what sodium chloride that's the meaning it's not telling that it's not saying that the volume of the solution is 100 mil no it's saying that any hundred mil you take from that solution must contain what 0.9 gram of what sodium chloride. Am I completing? So if this is 0.9 percent protein volume is 0.9 gram of sodium chloride in every hundred mil of the solution, we have opened up the what concentration. Now let, let us now go to the question. The question says, what is the amount of sodium chloride? Powder needed to prepare 1000 ml. So if you have 0 0.9 gram of sodium chloride, if you have 0 0.9 gram of sodium chloride in 100 ml of what? Sodium chloride what? Solution. I follow you. Eh? Hope you hope what I brought is, is clear. I just I just open up the this one for better understanding. The, what it means is that we have 0 0.9 gram of sodium chloride in 100 ml sodium chloride what, solution. If that is the case, what will now be the amount of sodium chloride that will be in what? 1000 ml of the what, solution. They want us to calculate the amount of the powder we need to prepare 1000 ml of the what? Solution. Therefore, S gram 
of what? Sodium chloride will now be in what? 1000 watt male sodium chloride watt solution. I follow you. I show so 0 0.9 gram of sodium chloride can be found in 100 ml of what sodium chloride solution. That's mean of 0.9 percent weight in volume. Therefore, S gram of sodium we don't know the one that will be in 100 ml. So S gram will now be in what 100 ml. We cross multiply and find X. X is now equal to what? If you cross multiply, if S is now equal to what? 0 point what? 9 gram times what? Times what? 100 is here now. You are cross multiplying. We are cross multiplying like this now. I follow you. I show you. I show you. I follow you. Follow you. Huh? Huh? Yes. So if I if I come and play, what, what tell me what to write now? Go times one thousand watts over what? Over hundred watts. May good. May will do what? Cancel me. This two zero will do what? Cancel the two zero. So we are left with what? Zero point nine gram times ten, which is what? 0 0.9 gram times 10 is what? It's 9 gram. It's 9 what? Gram. So if it's 9 gram, what it means is that we need what? 9 gram of what? Sodium chloride what? Powder to prepare this what? Solution. Therefore, 9 gram of sodium chloride powder is needed to prepare to prepare 1000 ml of a 0.9% sodium chloride what solution that's the answer the answer is what Nine gram. The answer is what? Nine gram. Fast, fast, so you can go to the next question. I don't. Come and clean the board. Okay, see another question.
Then, all right, let's just look at this question. 200 ml of an active ingredient is added to sufficient quantity of an alcohol-based vehicle to make a one liter solution. Full stop. The final strength is dash. 200 ml of an active ingredient is added. There should be an article here. 200 ml of an active ingredient is added to sufficient quantity of an alcohol based vehicle to make a, a one liter solution. The final strength is dash. Remember, remember we talked about concentration. Concentration is the amount, the ratio of the amount of the active ingredient to the amount of the entire what? The product. Okay? Now, if you look at this thing now, you find that both, that both the active ingredient and the entire product or the base or the vehicle, they are both what? Liquid. What are the active ingredients here is what? Liquid. That's why it's in male. Then the vehicle itself is also what? Liquid. That's why it's, 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 everything will now form a solution. So if that is the case now, in, in this case now, concentration now, the amount concentration, remember I told you about amount concentration and percentage concentration. So let's find the amount, amount, the amount concentration first before we go to what? Percentage concentration. I want us to leave the answer in percentage, percentage concentration because that is the commonest way of leaving your answer. Unless you are specified Unless it is specified that it, should, it must be in amount or ratio concentration. It is common to use percentage what concentration. Now, here now, remember I said that concentration is what? Amount of what? Active what? Ingredients over the what? Amount of the what? Of the what? Products. Here now, amount of that active ingredient is what? 200 watts. Mail. 200 watts. Mail. 200 mail. Over. The amount of the product is what? Is what? One liter. Remember, this total must be in the same unit. Okay, so we, we need to we'll convert this to, to males, milliliters. So, but remember the conversion factor. That one liter is how many, how many meals? One liter is 1,000 meals. Okay? One liter is what? 1,000 meals. So, whenever we we'll see one liter, we'll replace it with what? 1,000 meals. So, the amount of the solution, the entire product is now what? 1,000 watt, 1,000 mil. So mil will do what? Cancel me. This two zero will cancel this two zero. We are left with what? 0. Point what? 0. Point what? We are, we are left with what? 0. Point what? 2. All together. Yes, it's 0. Point 0.2, right? Good. So look up, look up, look up, look up, look up. Look up. We can move it like this. If we are told to leave it as an amount what? Concentration. Are you following? We can leave it like this if we are told to. If you are told to do what? Leave it as an amount concentration. But there's an issue here. Do you, do you know the issue? If you leave it like this. Okay, you, 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 you can if you cancel the meal, it, it, it will look as just it has no unit. But it shall it, it, it should it should have what unit. It shall, shall be as you cancel this now, as you cancel this now, it, 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 it should be male per what male. Okay? But actually if you follow the normal law of mathematical law, I, I already cancelled it. It will be somehow like this. So to avoid taking like this, you can also leave this this one thousand as what meter. 
Okay? If you leave it as liter, you have something like this. 200 ml over what? One watt liter. You can have something like this. 200 ml per watt. Per watt? Liter. Am I computing? It, it is okay like this as what? As what? Amount concentration. Uh, you can even if you say I can say male per male. But in in this in, in the in our discipline, we understand what you mean by male per male. But if you follow the normal law of, of, of mathematics ratio, you just cancel that and have 0 0.2, which doesn't make that sense. I'm not completing. Now, another thing you can also do with this now, you can easily move the, the, this one now. Even from here now, you can move it from here to what? From this point now to percentage what? Concentration. If you are told to leave it in amount concentration, you can stop at this level. You can proceed to here or go by this and produce, produce and proceed to here. Any of this is okay. But this will look like as if you are joking. Not everybody will, will, will understand this. But if you leave it a male per liter, we understand. But to avoid all these things, you can move, you can stop here. Move from here to what? Percentage what? Strength. Remember, percentage is in 100, right? We only, we only have 200 mil. Hope you know that the of this means 200 mil in what? 1,000 mil. Hope you know. Can you see the board? Hope you know that this means what? 200 mil of what? The active ingredients say 1,000 mil of the entire what? Solution. Two of us. So if you have 200 mil in 1,000 mil, how many mil will you have in what? 100 mil. Because percentage means in 100 mil. Means that if you find it in what? 100 mil. It is already 200 mil in 1,000 mil. So, well, let's move it in 100 mil. That's mean of what percentage. Is it clear? So, if you do that, let's come here. X will now be what? We do what? Cross multiply. So, X is now what? 200 times what? 200 mil times what? 100 mil. All over what? 1000 mil. Mil will cancel mil. 20 will do what? Cancel 20. One zero here will cancel what? One zero here. Right? We are left with what? 20 what? Mil. So there are 20 mil in what? 100 mil. Okay? So this implies that we have what? 20 mil in what? 100 mil. So we cannot comfortably shift this as percentage. Remember the, the way we, what, what, what we discussed about where you have volume, volume in volume. Since we have 20 mil in 100 mil, what it means is 20% volume in what? Volume. That, 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 that what it means. Because here is volume, here is volume. You just 20 mil in 100 mil means 20% volume. This 100 will disappear and become percent. This mil, this 2 mil, will, they will disappear and become volume in what? Volume. So in percentage, you have what? 20 what? Percent what? Volume in volume. Is it clear? Are you sure? So it is now what? 20% what? Volume in volume. That's the answer in percentage. I prefer living it in percentage unless you ask. But I, I move to me, I move to amount to show you something here. Okay? And in amount, it can be like this, it can be like this. But I prefer you move, leave it like this. Because this can be confusing. Okay? You can leave it at 200 ml per liter. It's okay. We understand that it is. Then that data means what the entire what product. But if you are moving into percentage, you convert everything to this the same unit and move, move to this and uh, take this step and get to this point. Is it clear? Is it clear? Good.
All right, let's solve another question. The O level students have not come, so let's keep solving until they come. Okay? Our time has already last, but I think the better we just continue until they come, so we don't waste this time. Okay? All right. Yes, yes, yes. If if the if, if the question were run that you must convert it to me, you, you convert it with, to, to me using that one that I mean. Okay? It's good, yes. Okay, let me move another question here. Okay, let's let's look at this question. This question I want to solve. I, I want to point. I want us to solve now. Combines concentration and specific gravity. Remember, we did specific gravity yesterday. It combines. It combines concentration and what specific gravity. All right. Come and clean the board, please, first. Okay.
I don't. All right, this question says, syrup USP is, you know the meaning of USP, right? United States Pharmacopoeia. Syrup USP is prepared by dissolving 850 gram of sucrose in sufficient purified water to make 1,000 ml of syrup. Syrup has a specific gravity of 1.31. Come on. How many milliliters of water are used to prepare a 500 ml of what? Syrup. How many milliliters of water are used to prepare a 500 ml of what? Syrup. Okay. This question, they gave us the specific gravity of, of syrup itself to be what? 1.31. Now, from this thing now, the one acting as the ingredient is what? Sucrose in powder form, which is what? 850 gram. Why the vehicle is what? Purified water. The vehicle is what? You didn't have to prepare syrup in the lab now, right? Good. That's what they're trying to explain here. The purified water is the vehicle. Now, the specific gravity of the syrup, the product, the product you have produced is now called what? Syrup. But the specific gravity of that syrup is what? 1.31. Now, the question now says, how many, how many milliliters of water we are used to prepare a 500 ml of what? Syrup. Are used to prepare a 500 ml of what? Syrup. Now, the first thing we need to do, the first thing we need to do is to, is to, Find out this syrup, this syrup now has volume of what? 1,000 ml. But the specific gravity is what? 1.31. Are we together? Now, what we do, we need to do is that we need to find out. We will we, we, we use this now. We we'll use this 1.31 to convert the volume of the syrup to weight. Remember what I told you about the use of specific gravity in moving weight to volume or volume back to what? Weight. So we we'll use, we we'll use this 1.31, which is specific gravity of what? This syrup, to move it to what? Weight. Okay? If we move it to weight, we we'll don't subtract weight of the syrup itself from that weight whatever weight we get becomes weight of the what water am i completing that will remain that will remain in the solution that, that weight of water remember that one gram of water is one minute of water we will now use that weight of water to change it to what male to get the volume of what water you see you, you we need to prepare 500 watt male out together so that's what we will do so, first of all, we know that 850 grams was used to make what? 1,000 watt nail. We should not go down to how many grams of sucrose that will be in 500 ml first before we can do any calculation. Okay? So, I follow you. Good. From the question, 850 grams of what? Sucrose, sucrose produces what? 1,000 ml of what? Syrup, good. Therefore, S of what? Sucrose will do what? Will produce what? 500 ml of what? Syrup. So let's find this x. We cross multiply. x is now what? 
X is now what? 850 gram, right? Times what? One ton of mil. Over what? 500 mil. Sorry, I made a mistake. It should be this times this. It should be this times 500, sorry. This times what? 500. Are you following? So where did where did where did where did where did it drop? This is simple mathematics. This is just mathematics, so you know. That thing is just mathematics. It's just simple mathematics. It's not so serious. It's mathematics cross multiplication. If this produce this. If 850 mil produces what? 1,000 mil of syrup. X will produce what? Will produce what? 500 mil. Find this X. Uh, you just input in. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let's continue. It's clear now, right? So here should be what? 1,000 mil. So here, me will do what? Cancel me. This will go 500 divided 1,000 is 2. Because 500 into 2 is 1,000. 2 of what? So here should be 2. So simply divide 850 by 2, by 850 gram by 2. That should give us 425 gram. 425 what? Gram. 425 what? Gram. Good. We have known. How many gram of this uh, this uh, sucrose that will be in what five hundred ml syrup? Is it clear? Four point five gram of sucrose will be in five hundred ml syrup. Now let's use the specific gravity of the syrup to convert the volume of the syrup, which is five hundred ml, to gram. Okay, you, you know that this syrup only contains sucrose and what water. And we know the volume of the entire product. But the sucrose there is in gram. It cannot work unless you use the specific gravity of this sucrose, of this syrup, to move it to gram. So you can subtract the sucrose, which is already in gram, and have water, which will be in gram alone. We now move that water in gram to what? Male. Because one gram of water is equal to what? One male. We get our answer. Is it clear? So that's what we we'll do now. So let's move. This, remember the, the definition of specific gravity. Specific gravity is what? Weight of what? Weight of what? Substance, right? Over what? Weight of equal volume of what? Water. Specific gravity is what? Weight of substance over weight of equal volume of air, water. Is that clear? That's that mean of what? Specific gravity. But from this question, the substance equation is what? Sucrose. Is this sucrose or syrup? Sorry. Sucrose is what will dissolve. But it's syrup, not, not sucrose. Is the product not, not sucrose itself? Okay, please. So the, 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 the substance here is what? The syrup. But the weight is what I'm looking for. They gave us the volume, but they didn't give us the what? The weight. So, but they gave us, they gave us the specific gravity as what? 1.1. 1 1.31. 1 1. So, 1.31 1 is the weight you are looking for, right? Which is W. Over. Remember what, remember what I said about the weight of equal volume of water? It's simply the weight of water that has the same volume with this, with this syrup. That's me. Remember. That weight of equal volume of water means weight of water. This should be actually what should be a weight of water. Weight of water that has the same volume with what? The syrup. What is the volume of the syrup? Look at the question. Look at here now. What, what is the volume of the syrup? The volume of the syrup is what? 500 ml. So if the volume of the syrup is 500 ml, that means water will also have the, the same volume, which is what? 500 ml. So if the volume of water is 500 ml, then what is the weight of water? 
You remember that weight of water, one gram of water is equal to one million of water. So if the volume of water is 500 ml, what is the weight of water? 500 what? Good. So that means that weight of water that, that has the same volume is what? 500 what? Gram. So what should be is what? 500 what? Gram. Is it clear? So we cross multiply. Hope you, know, hope, you, hope you know that this, this is something I say 1.3 over 1. Hope you know. We cross multiply. So W now, this implies that W is now equal to what? 1.3 times what? 500 gram. One, what's the answer? 1.3 times what? 500 gram, which is what? Six watts, six five five watts grams. So the weight of the syrup, the weight of five hundred ml syrup, is now what six five five gram. The weight of five hundred ml syrup is what six five five gram. But the weight of sucrose inside it is what is what four to five gram. So if the syrup, if the syrup, look up, if the syrup. Contains what? Sucrose. Are we together? Plus what? Water. Preferred water. Hello? If, sucrose, if, if, if syrup is, if what means syrup is, you did it in the practical now, it's just sucrose and water. So if the syrup is contain only the sucrose and water, and we know, we know the, 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 the weight of the syrup to be what? 655 watts gram. And we know the weight of the sucrose to be what? 425 gram. Then what will be the weight of water? Water will now be what? What will be the weight of water? Tell me. Look at the equation here. What will now become the weight of water? So look at this, look at this place. Huh? Uh huh. This syrup contains sucrose and water. Syrup is equal to sucrose plus water. And the weight of syrup is 655 grams. Weight of water is 425 grams. Plus, sorry, weight of sucrose, 425 grams. Plus weight of water. What is the weight of water from this equation? If you have x, if you have 200 is equal to 30 plus x, find x. What is x? Let's start from there. What is x? Multiply how? You don't know. Tell me, okay, tell me, tell me what to do. Uh -huh. X is what? Two to minus what? 30. Which is now what? One seventy. Now come here. We have six five gram is equal to forty five gram plus water. So what is the weight of water here? Minus what? So what do the weight of water? Weight of water is now six five five gram minus what? Forty five gram, which is what? Huh? Eh? 230 watts gram. 230 gram. This is just the weight of water, which is 230 gram. But remember that one gram of water is one minute of water. The question says volume of what? Water. So what will now become the volume of water? 230 watts. Say, say, say the units. 230 watts. Say the units. Huh? Mere. So because 
the weight of water is 230 gram, but one mil of water, one gram of water is equal to one mil of water. Therefore, 230 gram of water is equal to what? 230 mil of what? water. So the answer to this question is what? 230 mil. Go and so go and go and go through what we did in this question. Please, I hope you are watching this things. Eh? Please, I upload them every day. Watch these things. Go to YouTube. Watch these lectures we are we we are we've been doing. Watch these lectures we've been doing, especially those that concerns you in this all this one you've been doing for this re re revision this um, tutorial for this year pre preparation of your exam watch it clearly compare it to what you did in class please don't play with them tomorrow we look at dilution tomorrow we look at what dilution tomorrow we look at what dilution okay all right tomorrow we, we look at dilution so go back this ones we, we did go back to them again revise them again watch them but before tomorrow i'll post this watch them watch them are you subscribed to, to the channel for where group 
No, go to the church channel. Don't wait until it's posted. Because sometimes, sometimes I may not post it. Don't you know my YouTube channel? Please, uh, sometimes I may, not, I may not have time to, to, be, to start sharing link. I may just do the video and upload and face other things. So, to avoid delay, please go to the YouTube channel, subscribe, then watch all those, all those ones we have done so far. The channel is from eternity. The school board. That's the YouTube channel. Go there, subscribe, then watch. We've seen that those the, the, these recent lectures we have done on this farm car. Please do the ones we did when you were not there. Try to get the topic see those questions, revise them, solve them, pick, study that question critically, and I know my reason for telling you this. Go through it, study it, take it seriously. Am I committing? All right, see you tomorrow. God bless you. Yeah.